Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. You have studied in your engineering course about the sag of a power line or a transmission line. But can you know how to find the sag of a transmission line in real life? That means in practical world. I mean, can you able to design, can you able to calculate the sag of a transmission line when you are designing a transmission line in practical world? Here we can teach you how you can calculate the sag of a transmission line in the practical world. Let us start the video. The previous topics which we have covered in this video series, this is a free course for of on design of transmission line and distribution line the previous lectures are available my on my youtube channel i can show my youtube channel to you this is my youtube channel from here you can see the playlist on uh, in the playlist you can see the design of transmission line and distribution lines on clicking the view full playlist you will find here that all the lectures are available here almost 15 lectures are available here and today is the 16th lecture this lecture will also get add up in this playlist now coming to today's lecture today's lecture is about sag of transmission line when supporting structures are unequal heights as you see in the figure the supporting structure structure a and the structure b are of unequal heights here we can calculate the sag of a transmission line when the supporting structures are at unequal heights. In previous lecture, that is lecture number 15, we have calculated that uh, we have learned how to calculate the sag of a transmission line when supporting structures are at equal heights. Or when uh, we have also found there that how to find the uh, tension on the conductor. In today's lecture, we will take an example which we solve, and this example we can solve this example and learn how we can calculate the sag of a transmission line when supporting structures are unequal heights. The example is the tower of height 30 meter and 90 meter respectively supported transmission line connected at water crest. The horizontal distance between the towers is 500 meters. If the tension in the conductor is 1600 kg, find the minimum clearance of a conductor and water and the clearance midway between the supports. Weight of conductor is 1.5 kg per meter. Base of the tower can be considered to be at water level. The figure is this. Here you can see there are two supporting structures. One is A and another is B. The distance between them is 500 meters. We have to find minimum clearance between conductor that is the transmission line and water. That is, we have to find what is the distance from what, uh, point O from water level, and also we have to find the what is the distance of a point P. This is the midpoint of the transmission line from uh, water level. From water level, here S one is the sag of a transmission line from supporting structure A and similarly S2 is the uh, sag of a transmission line from uh, supporting structure B or we can see uh, S2 is the uh, distance of a point O from the top of the uh, uh, structure B and top of the structure A. Thick. Okay. S1 equals WX1 squared divided by 2T. And S2 equal is WX2 square divided by 2T. X1 and X2 are the distances of the point O from A and B respectively. Here you can see X1 is the distance of a point O from A and X2 is the distance of a point O from B. We can say X1 plus X2 is equal to 500 meters. S2 that is this. This is the S2 and S1. This is S1. S2 minus S1 equals H. That is the 
that is the extra height of the supported structure B. So we can say S2 minus S1 is equal to H equal to 90 minus 30 that is 60. Now putting the value of S2 and S1 in this equation we can say 60 equals WX2 square divided by 2T minus WX1 square divided by 2T. On further solving this equation it becomes W divided by 2T into x2 square minus x1 square. On further solving this equation, it becomes 60 equals w divided by 2t x2 plus x1 into x2 minus x1 because a square minus b square equals a plus b into a minus b. Similarly, x2 square minus x1 square equals x2 plus x1 into x2 minus x1. Now, on further solving this equation, it becomes x2 minus x1 equals 60 into 2t divided by wx2 plus x1. Putting the value of t, w and x2 plus x1 in this equation, we can find the x2 minus x1 where t is equal to tension that is 1600 kg and w is equal to weight of a conductor that is 1.5 kg per meter and x1 plus x2 is equal to 500 meters. Putting these values in this equation, we can find x2 minus x1 equals 16 into 2 into uh, 60 into 2 into 1600 divided by 1.5 into 500 that is equal to 256. So x2 minus x1 equals 256. We have named it equation second. And we already know x2 plus x1 is equal to 500. We have named it equation third. Simultaneously solving equation second and equation third, we we get x2 is equal to 378 and x1 is equal to 122. Putting the value of x1 and x2 in equation s1 and s2, we will get x1 is equal to wx1 square divided by 2t equals 1.5 into 122 square divided by 2 into 1600 equals 7 meters. Now we have found the s1. Now we have to find the uh, clearance of distance between uh, the west point of the conductor that is O and the water level. The height is height of this uh, structure is that is supported structure A is total 30 meters. So when we minus the S1 we will find the height of O from water level. So we can write height of conductor from water level at lowest point O is equal to 30 minus 7 that is 23 meters. The height of point O from water level is 23 meters. Now we have to find the what is the height of a midpoint of a conductor from water level that is point P. X1 plus X is equal to 250 that is the midpoint of the uh, midpoint of the two supported structures so we can say X1 plus X is equal to 250. X equal is 250 minus X1 250 minus 122 that is 128. Now we can find the this distance that is this distance we can say it is S mid. S mid equals W divided uh, W into X square divided by 2T that is 1.5 into 128 square divided by 2 into 1600 that is 7.68. So that means S mid is 7.68 so total height will be this that is the 23 meters plus s mid so height of conductor from water at midpoint is midpoint p is 23 plus 7.68 that is 30.68 now in this way we have calculated the sag of a transmission line when supporting structures are at unequal heights thank you